I'm Mark Dwyer, and welcome to Game Day. I've always wondered why salespeople answer their telephone. You know, I think it's a common misconception that people think that a busy professional agent is one that's constantly answering their phone. To the contrary, great salespeople make calls, but they never take them. Now there's nothing worse than seeing a salesperson that's deeply engrossed in a conversation with a client, their mobile telephone rings, and they have the audaciousness to answer that call. That is a risk that you just don't want to run. There really is no recovery from this particular position. And of course, many salespeople honestly believe if they're receiving lots of calls that they're busy. Well, I can tell you that nothing could be further from the truth. The sign of a great salesperson is one that is not worried about publishing their phone number, their mobile telephone number anywhere because they're not in a reactive disposition. They're making calls, they're controlling the calls. Let's say a buyer says, I'll get back to you. Have you ever suffered that feeling of waiting for something to come back from a buyer or a seller that says they'll come back to you and give you the decision and you're waiting for the call? So when a client says to me, I'll call you back. I say, well, look, I don't take calls. I make calls. When would you like me to call you? Because most of the time I'm uncontactable. Now, I even tell my sellers that I'm not likely to answer the phone. I say, I rarely answer the telephone. It will always go to a message bank. Please just leave a message in a time that I can call you back. And I'll endeavor to do that as soon as is practically possible. And let's talk about why. Well, to start with, when you receive a call, you have no idea what's coming at you. You, you can only possibly be in a reactive disposition. You do not know the agenda of the caller. You do not know the intent of the caller. So you find yourself playing a guessing game. Now, how often has this happened where you may have picked up the phone thinking, if it's a buyer, that they're just about to make an offer or increase their offer if they've already made one, only to discover that they've had a little bit of buyer's remorse and they're backpedaling because they are in control of the call. Now, conversely, when you make a call, you are fully aware of the agenda as it's about to play out. You know what you are trying to achieve from that call, and as such, you are in control of the call. This is the favorable disposition for a professional salesperson to be in. Proactively making calls, knowing what you want to achieve from that call, puts you in the position of being a sales professional that is controlling their destiny. So not only does this mean that as a salesperson making calls, not taking calls that you're in control, that you're not running the risk of actually being off-putting to someone. The person that makes the call controls the call. Whoever's spending, as we used to say in the good old days, the 20 cents is in control. It might cost a little bit more these days. So if you make calls rather than take calls, you are in control of the call, you can set the agenda, you can set the tone of the call, and you can certainly achieve the outcomes you wanna get from that call. You know, I can tell you now, if I'm in a listing presentation, the phone stays in the car, it's not even within reach. If I'm at an open for inspection, the phone is nowhere to be heard, it's definitely on silent and I'm definitely not looking at it. You can't do much inside of that period of time about some other situation. So as we say in real estate, love the one you're with, be proactive, be in control of your destiny. And I'll say it again to sum it up, great salespeople 
make calls, they do not take calls. My name is Mark Dwyer and this is Real Estate Game Day.